Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to the indoor TV. You didn't sing well. I didn't hear your voice. Oh, Ciao. You're welcome. How are you doing? Happy, Happy birthday. birthday. You know, every year, they, they, every year they surprise me on my birthday. So you're not and they always try to hide things in the script to make it look like something's going to happen. But I didn't know it was you guys, but I knew something was happening. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. That's why I tell you that this was not a surprise. Uh, I've been on this show for 10 years. What do you expect? <laughs> <laughs> At this point, you're still catching me. Yes. But it's nice to see you guys. Same here. How are you doing? It's actually pleasant. It's nice to be here on your table. I know. I know. Our body. This, this, this feels good. <laughs> I could get used to this. You should get used to it. I know. <laughs> but not here. That's not me, you're taking All right. This one, you came, you came here with paper. <clears throat> don't worry, don't worry, don't worry. We okay. are here for you today. Um, life here with Ibuka Ubi Uchendo, who is unarguably one of the biggest faces in TV across Africa, asking the right questions and bringing entertainment, <laughs> the best of entertainment to millions of homes across the nation. And of course, and of course, dragging us by our clothes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just doing my job. I know, right? <laughs> However, what he doesn't know is we're here for revenge and to ask girl, girl. you the toughest questions on live TV. <laughs> and of course, on what day? His birthday! <coughs> I'm here to clap You're for my that. guy. <laughs> Your paper is even longer than her own. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> my name is Bill <coughs> I'm your guest host. And my name is Prince Nelson Worm, and this is Ibuka Birthday Takeover on Robbie Mines. All right, so Ibuka, <laughs> how are you doing today? I am actually fine. My birthday was two days ago, I mean, but it's apparently Even still though. my birthday Even weekend. Though. And um, over? I think everybody who knows me knows I, that I don't generally enjoy my birthdays. Why? I, I think it's a lot of just self reflection I do. And it gets me in this space where I'm like, there's still so much more to achieve. Oh. And yeah, so I get very deep in my head, just trying to figure out, yeah. Oh, so sometimes months answer. before itself, you don't I was just like, oh God, wow. this thing is coming again. Okay. But yeah, I think this one was a little lighter than usual because I had a quiet day um, for the most part. So yeah, it wasn't bad. That's nice. <laughs> so I'm going to be asking your first question today. Are you ready? Very ready. Okay, so Ibuka, tell us, who's your favorite Big Brother housemate of all time? Hmm. Hmm. And this, I'm not trying to be political, but I don't have one. Okay, because... okay give, give us two. <laughs> or, or top three. We were prepared for you. We, were, we can prepare. I can give you a number of okay. people. Of people. Okay, um, cool. We'll, we'll take it. It was Gideon who was in my season. He was amazing. Okay. Um, I have liked everybody who surprised me, you know, because I get a lot of your profiles before the show starts, and I think this person go dry. <laughs> <laughs> so the ones who end up going in, and I'm like, oh, okay, I didn't see that coming, okay. have been quite interesting, and you were one of them, because I thought you were going to be a dead babe. You were not so dead. But <laughs> wow. Ouch! My thanks. Okay. So that was a little surprising. The people that give me drama. Okay. Um, you, I don't know if your drama was intentional, but you had a community around you. <laughs> um, I, I've also enjoyed people who play the game. People are, you're being political. No, wait, let me question. finish. I, I, no, I'm names. going to give you names. We need the names. I've given you three names already, but it's like people who come in and play the game. I, the one thing I've grown to like a lot less over the seasons, people will come in and say, I was just myself. It's a good thing, but I also see that there's money to be won. Yeah. How do you not come in with a game plan? I mean, I'm guilty. Yeah, you know, I always feel like if you're coming to win a hundred million now, whatever oh, it is, plan there should it. be some plan. Yeah, um, and we don't get that very often. Pere gave us a bit of that, yeah. then yeah. sort of disappeared <laughs> at some point yeah, when I dragged okay. him small, and he just, yeah. you know, sort of chilled. I like people who, play the yeah. game and stick with it. Okay. Um, Miracle did that quite a bit. Miracle and Toby in their season, they had a bit of a competition that was very interesting, but they also had Uma Mata 
around them. That is always disturbing you people. Um, but I don't know if that's the thing. I like people for different things. Okay. So it's hard to say that I have a favorite person, to be honest. Oh, okay, yeah. that's fine. Well, all I heard from everything he said was Beauty Tukura is his favorite person. <laughs> it's fine. So, it's fine. Prince, thank you. Yeah, so uh, um, for someone who has a lot that you do yeah. on TV, um, what's that one ritual that you've stuck with for years that keeps you um, motivated, that gets you ready for your day? Um, outside of work? Yeah. Like yeah. every day? Yeah, like what's the I one ritual you do every day? Just something that you do every single day. I drink coffee every day. I don't know if that's a very good habit. And it's a ritual I enjoy because I brew my own coffee. Oh. I blend the beans and I brew it myself and then I balance and I start watching the news at like 7 a.m. Okay. before I start my day. So that's okay. kind of how I start my day. Um, and I've stuck with that for years now. My kids even know that. They, once they hear the blending sound, they're like, oh, man, I'm it. You know, so that's one thing I know I do every day. Uh, with regards to work, I don't know if it is a ritual, but I, I found that a lot of the things I do, I enjoy. Mm. So if I, don't, I mean, I've done this show now for 10 years. You don't do something oh, for yeah. that long if, if it's not like sweetening you small. Mm. And enjoying it just keeps me going. And I just wake up and I'm like looking forward to work already. You don't find a lot of people who look forward to going to work, whatever the work is. But yeah, other than that, I mean, I pray before I get on stage every time. Well, that's oh. another constant. Um, so it's it's usually a very time. short prayer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Prayer it's a very short prayer. Just backstage before I sort of Do you go want to share prayer with those? I mean, it's basically for just the thing to go well. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's two, three, four sentences. God, please, this next hour, please, I beg, perform my <laughs> kind of thing. <laughs> it's really cool. When it's live TV, this is live TV now. Yeah. Big Brother is live. Shows that are live, you can't mm -hmm. take anything back. So it's just like, can this yeah. hour just go? Without any tabo, <laughs> you know, because it just takes one slip up and everything crashes. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, Ebuka, how do you find the balance between um, being a father, a husband, and being the most sought-after media yeah, personality yeah, across yeah. Africa? You're the hottest. You're the dog. He does. Oh, to, be, no, to be honest. I like so that you ask that because people don't ask men that, that a lot. Mm. They really? tend to ask women that a lot. And I find that sometimes it's almost mm. as if it's only women that uh, have family. So have family. I, I mean, they do a lot of the work, mm. let's be honest. But yeah. uh, balance for me is very. Um, I think it works because of the kind of family I have, right? I have kids who are a lot wiser than their age. Yeah. So it's easier to explain things to them even if you're not around. They understand mm -hmm. it. I also have a wife who I say is the kindest human being in the world. And she has sort of gotten a sense of what my routine and my life is like. When we got married, she was, she was like, what is this? It's in your house, Martin, your house, Martin, your house. But we understand each other now. We'll be able to balance um, each other when one is not around, the other person takes over, and it works very well for us. So I can't do it without my wife. That's the honest truth. Um, but at the same time, I also, with my work, I've been able to, I, I separate them almost cleanly, uh, which is why most times you go on my social media pages, you see just sprinklings of my family there. Yeah. Because I like to keep my public life public. public yeah. And my private life is private. So when I go home and I come out and I'm in my boxers alone, mm -hmm. I know that they can judge me all they want, but I'm in my safe space. So I like to keep my home my home. And separating that has been very, very key for me. I've been married now going on eight years. Mm -hmm. And I think that's sanity okay. that I go back to is what keeps me going with work. So when work, when I'm at work, I'm working. When I leave work, I leave work okay. uh, where it is. You've sort of inspired some of us. You know, the thing he said about <laughs> keeping your private life private, private and, and your work in a public, public. I yeah. picked that from him, actually. You know, sometimes when I go to my page, so I'm like, ah. Oh. This is just all work. There's nothing about oh, yeah. it here. 90% of my page is work. Yeah. But then it's okay. It's okay. And, and, and that's great because um, coming from where you've come to the point where you are right now, yeah. I, I, um, I want to use that and ask a question. Has there ever been a time that you've looked back? Maybe not now. Yeah. But has there ever been a time that you look back, you know, across your journey, you know, to get into where you are right now, and you said, I wish I could have gone back in time and not be famous yeah. and not be Ibuka? Hmm. I think I don't think I've ever. Let me let me say the right words. Mm -hmm. I've never been a fan of fame. And if you know me, I think you can tell. Mm -hmm. But I've also understood that it comes with what I do. Mm -hmm. So I've never courted fame. I've never chased fame. I've never really sort of thrived in it. You know, 
I'm not the kind of guy who's going to put things out to be talked about. So most times, if you see me being talked about, it's because of my work. It's not because I did something outside yeah. of my work. You know, so I don't know that I enjoy fame or I've ever really liked it as much. I mean, it comes with its benefits. I can never deny that. Mm -hmm. and, but I also understand that it's a necessary evil that comes with having a career that's public. But if you left me uh, with an option, I would no. take the career with the money that is coming with it. So, that, was, that, was about to be, uh, that was about to be my follow-up question. So just, you, would, you would have I mean, this. Not be famous. You would yeah. have this without the fame. Yes, yes, yeah. I would. Easily. I it's our kick and exactly. <laughs> but I will eat this one. Ah, okay. <laughs> okay, so my next question for you. What are the top three? I mean, you're always on TV. You've been on TV for 10 years now. What are the top three times you felt embarrassed? I did up to three, but I know I've had a couple. By the very first time I did live television, I think I've told this story before, it was with Fumi Yonda. Okay. Um, she had this show she does every year, January 1st, and we had a guest on air that I was meant to interview. This was in 2012, January 1st or 13, I can't remember now. And she had given me this, okay, I want you to come and host this show with me. I'd never done live TV before. Oh, that was your first time. And Exactly. So <laughs> she gives me this person's name, then I do a research on her, yeah. then I go on air and I ask my very first question. And she says, no, that wasn't me. Mm. I had researched somebody completely different from mm. her. It was my first time, my first question, my first sentence on live TV. Wow. And it was wrong. And it was the wrong person I was talking to. Oof. And Oof. till today, it still haunts me. I've been there. You know, just, I know. We, we, we saw your own. <laughs> <laughs> I remember. You know what? We saw your own. So everybody goes through those moments. Yeah. But that, that day just taught me, you know what? I think it also helped, because I kind of carried on with the interview, but mm -hmm. I think that has also helped me a lot more with freestyling. Which is why even with like a show like Big Brother, when some of you have sharp mouths and give me, mm. I'm able to quickly have yeah, a response. Back. Because yeah. that's what it does to you, to think on your feet in the, in the moment. And, you know, so that one definitely, I remember it every time. And I, I've not met her since then. I think she moved out of the country. She's an author. I don't say I know this. <laughs> because it was supposed to be her moment. Oh and yeah. I ruined and it with the opening it, well, sentence. It, away. it was very bad, yeah. <laughs> All right, so with um, you also being one of the most fashionable people in Africa, Amen. Thank you. In Africa, <laughs> we, we, we can't take it away from you. You're always cleaning up with styles, Thank different outfits. Can you can do it all, <laughs> basically. Um, who would you say is your favorite designer? I think that's easy. Everybody knows Atafo. Uh, mm. Atafo okay. is, um, okay, that I, was, think that was I think easy. he's easily the best menswear designer on the continent. But I've also worked with him for over a decade, so mm. from when he started. And I've seen him just blossom into this amazing... So you've been the ultimate muse? I think so. Yeah. I think so, and I'm very happy to be his muse. That's amazing. Yeah. It's like journey working, yeah, yeah. Journey I worked working. with him when he was the brand manager of a brand I was working, I was an ambassador for after I left Big Brother oh. in 2006. That's when I met him, and I was like, was you fun. like this thing you're sewing. Why not just, you know... <laughs> Bring this to me. And then three years later, he quit and started... Wow. What has now become, you know, this yeah. So you can say that you are the one that planted the seed. I don't know, <laughs> but I like to but say you it. Are one of the <laughs> the I say it, but I don't know if it's yeah. true, but I like to say it. Yeah. Okay. Definitely a tough one. So um, you have multiple degrees in law, but you don't practice. Do you consider your level of success tied to your degree in any way? Yes, a lot of it. How so? Well, maybe also because with eloquence, for example, I mean, studying law helped me. You do all these mock trials. Yes. I went to law school. You are forced to speak publicly. I was a very shy person, so a lot of that started preparing me. I had my master's degree abroad, so it also sort of exposed my mind as well to just understanding how cultures work. So I think in some way, maybe not even directly, but being in that environment where you had to, you know, think on your feet and, you know, use your brain a lot more and read a lot. Uh, because part of what I do now, I have to study a lot of things. Because with Robin Minds, for example, I talk about multiple topics at the same time. Yeah, so I have to know something about sports. everything. So yeah, I think it has helped me in some way. But the law is still going to come back. Though. Money did here. Yeah. Entertainment law. <laughs> what do you mean come back? Yeah, we're still going to enter. You want to, you want to still go back there? We can always have 800 <laughs> side gigs. Nothing is stopping us. That's good. Okay. So um, as a star, as a big star that you are, how have you had to deal with loss and every other human feelings with being a huge star. Um, would you say it's, um, what, what's the right word? Is this, would you say it's okay to be human? 
as an Ibuka, as a, celeb as a celebrity yeah. in the industry? Of course. I mean, I haven't, I've dealt with one or two heavy moments, friends, family members, um, but I'm also not the public griever. So, I mean, there are people who express themselves differently. For me, when I, when I grieve or when I experience loss, of course, it's, that's when I go back to that safe space I talk about, where yeah. it's your family and they understand your emotions more. Because you find out that when you do a lot of these things publicly, there are people who are trying to look for a reason why you're doing it. Mm. And there's a draggable moment for everything. Yeah, trying you know, to so connect those. Especially in moments where you're feeling emotional. Um, I go back to my sanctuary. But yeah, I mean, I think everybody should have their safe spaces for things like that. If your safe space is social media, why not? You know, if your safe space is your family, if it's your boyfriend or your husband or your girlfriend, <laughs> it probably is for some people. There are people who go there. I mean, the last guest I had started content creation because he was depressed and he went there to express himself. So if whatever it is for you. And he found the community of depressed yeah, people. I don't know, but I mean, help, I mean, I guess expressing himself helps him release, yeah. oh, okay. you know, That's stuff. Nice. So you never know. Okay, so look at this one. I've been dying to ask you this because <laughs> even as tiny as I am, my DMs are full. <laughs> you know, these people, they just come in. They are just requests every day. So I know many people would kill to see what your DM, you know, looks like. <laughs> Well, what's your Instagram DM like, really? Like, what kind it of is, characters and personalities is, do you have? It is all sorts of things. It is hmm. all sorts of things. Give us I some think I'm thankful Give us some I, I don't get, I don't get too tea. many images anymore. I used to get some images before what kind that of way. I used to stand up. Ah. Yes. Um, <laughs> That, hasn't ha that doesn't happen as often. It happens, but not as often anymore. Oh, wow. um, but I get people who are very intentional. Mm. With the way they explain uh, even They even reply a story with me and my wife. I say, congrats, oh, but just oh, in case you boy. are, you know. And it's very... <laughs> Is that wow. not a violation? <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's a violation right there. <laughs> but I mean, I, I, I don't shut anybody down, but I also don't just address anything. They right. should, you know, right. exist in this And then space. last question <coughs> what is one thing you wish you knew before going to the big brother house this is many years yeah. back what's the Ooh, one thing big brother was so different back then what's I the know. one thing i wish i knew oh, well, let, to phrase it let me say it to phrase it because of the time when yeah. it happened what is yeah. one thing you think you should have known before going when into entertainment yes it's hmm. i think maybe just being more being more self-aware hmm. and not care a lot about what people say be more self-aware. If you do something and you believe in it, that's all that matters. But then, if you say you don't care about what people say, what if it's something you should actually care about and not caring you need to, like, you know, issues on your people? I mean, there are things you should care about. Mm -hmm. And so I, I keep going back to this safe space and this, the people who you should listen to. Because mm -hmm. you can't listen to a million people. Yeah. If you have a million followers or 500,000 followers, you can't listen to every single opinion. If it's something you're sure of and you know it's in your heart, it's the right thing, people are going to want to debate that with you. It's not in their place to tell you that. But if it's something you feel you can change about, speak to your community and people around you, and then maybe you can address it. But I'm not a huge fan of taking too many opinions okay. on my life. Okay. All right. Thank you very fun. much. Thank you very much. That was so I can fun. go and eat my cake now. Yes, we can all go and eat your cake together with you, Ibuka. Thank you so much Thanks for, for being our guest. Thanks for joining us on this. Don't come back yet. We should have come back. Oh, why? Oh, me, my Ibuka. We'll come back. I really all appreciate right. it. Thank, Thank you. So much. Nice one, man. That was good.